Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to graph a line that's going to be perpendicular to y equals 5x plus 4, but that's going to go through the point 1 comma negative 2. And I just dropped my markers, but that's OK. I got a lot of them over here. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and graph this first of all, just so we can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, so we have a y-intercept of 4. So I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have a slope of 5 over 1. So that means I'm going to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then over 1 unit. So I'm roughly going to have a line that's going to look something like this. All right. Now I know the point has to go through, or my new perpendicular line, which I'll color in pink, has to go through the point 1 comma negative 2. Now remember, since this line, my original line is, has a positive slope, I know my new line has to have a negative slope. That means it has to go down in the negative direction. And it also has to cross, or intersect, I'm sorry, at a 90 degree angle. So it's going to look something like this. And maybe my 90 degree angle might be a little off, but that's kind of like the idea, right? And actually, it has to go through the point, so I don't even know what I'm doing here. We'll do something like that. All right. Sorry, I didn't do the best in my art class. OK, so we know that it has a 90 degree angle. It has to go through this point. And the only thing that we've really talked about with our perpendicular lines is it could have the same y-intercept. We obviously notice that these do not have the same y-intercept. But the main important thing about perpendicular lines is they have to intersect at a 90 degree angle. And their slopes, since this is positive, this is negative, are going to be opposite. But they're also reciprocals of each other. Now notice, when I graph this, I wrote this as 5 over 1. And that was very important because a lot of students will get confused when we say, all right, well, what's the reciprocal of 5? Well, the reciprocal of 5, remember, we can write 5 as a fraction as 5 over 1. So therefore, the reciprocal is going to be y equals a negative 1 fifth x. Now, the negative is because it has to go in the negative direction. That doesn't have to deal with the reciprocal. So my negative is because it has to go in the negative direction. But the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth, right? Usually people, they understand, oh, 2 thirds, the reciprocal is 3 halves. Well, if I have a whole number, we can always rewrite it as a fraction and then take my reciprocal. All right, now the case is we don't know what this y-intercept is. We know it goes to the point 1 comma negative 2, but we don't know where it crosses. And that's what we need to figure out. So again, to do that, since we know that my equation goes to this point, and this point has an x and a y-coordinate, we know that this point is going to make this equation true for the right value of b. We just need to figure it out. So to do that, we're going to plug in our point, x and y, in for our x and y coordinates of our new equation with our new slope of our perpendicular line. So I'll just plug in negative 2 equals a negative 1 fifth times 1 plus b. Now, negative 1 fifth times 1 is going to be a negative 1 fifth. And then you're looking, you're like, oh, shoot, here we go. Here comes the fractions. And yes, you're right, we're going to have some fractions, but that's OK. So we'll add 1 fifth to both sides. All right, so then I'll do a little extra work over here. So I have uh, negative 2 plus 1 fifth. Now remember, to add fractions, you've got to have the same denominator. So I can rewrite this as 1, but they need to have the same denominator as 5. So I'll multiply by 5 over 5. Therefore, I now have negative 10 over 5 plus 1 over 5, which equals a negative 9 over 5. So that is going to be now my new y-intercept. Negative 9 fifths equals b. So now I know what my new y-intercept is, and I know what my new slope is. I can now write the equation of my line that is going to be perpendicular to the line y equals 5x plus 4. So let's just rewrite it again. y equals a negative 1 fifth x minus 9 fifths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a perpendicular line through a point. Thanks.